The volume of human traffic at the Paranaque Integrated Terminal Exchange for the extended Lenten break and long weekend exceeded its forecast of 1.2 million moving bodies by 16.7 percent, or an excess of 200,000 passengers and visitors. Though generally good for business, the overcrowding at the PITX gave way to a host of problems, like delayed trips and the resurfacing of Chlorum buses that our Kenneth Pashenta dwells on in this story. Over 1.4 million passengers used the Paranaque Integrated Terminal Exchange or PITX as of yesterday. It already exceeded the 1.2 million passengers expected during the Holy Week. And today, it is also expected to exceed the over 100,000 passengers recorded at the terminal yesterday. As of 5 o'clock this afternoon, foot traffic in the terminal has reached 91,067. Masaya na kan kasi time to bond with families and classmates. Pero sobrang eksi lang, dalawang araw lang palaga kasi dahil sa trabaho. Sinagat namin yung bakasyon talaga kasi medyo matagal-tagal ulit bago ang mahabang bakasyon. According to the PITX management, the one-day extra holiday has helped to avoid congestion at the terminal. Nung mga nakaraang panahon, may ikli lang yung kanilang uh, time para magbakasyon, nagsisiksikan talaga no, yung mga, at nagkakasabay-sabay yung ating mga kababayan. However, the turnaround time of PITX buses has become a challenge due to the heavy traffic so some trips were delayed. So one of the visible solutions is the addition of units by their stakeholders. PITX is also saddened that there are still Colorum buses still exploiting passengers last Holy Week. Agad natin ito pinagbibigay alam sa, sa LTO, LTFRB at AYAC. In fact, uh, minomonitor natin ito maigi kasi marami na rin tayo mga pasihero na nagsumbong sa atin na nabiktima ng mga Colorum uh, operations na ito. Meron nga isang pamilya, sumakay sila sa, sa probinsya, no? ang pangako sa kanila, dadalin sila dito sa PITX. And then sa kasama ang palad, dumating sila dito ng gabi. Uh, hindi sila binaba dito no? sa PITX, binaba sila somewhere in Ross Boulevard sa isang madilim na lugar. It is expected today to be the peak of passenger arrivals from the provinces. And tomorrow the situation in the terminal will be back to normal. Today, ano, ito yung peak na natin kasi karamihan sa mga kababayan natin nagsilikas bago mag Holy Week. Ang uwian talaga niya is either kahapon, ng hapon, hanggang gabi or ngayong umaga hanggang tanghali. Kenneth Pasyente for The Nation.